the more exciting events at the Ed Media Center and Cerulean Gallery recently has been the traveling exhibition that is on loan to us from the Victoria and Albert Museum in London. While it isn't unusual for museums to lend work to educational sites for display, what makes our show unique is that this is the first time the V&A has provided pieces to a virtual world exhibition space. The work on display are the photographs of Lady Clementina Howardy. The Victoria and Albert Museum has the world's largest collection of works by this 19th century photographer, and we have 18 of her prints on display in the main gallery. Much of Howarden's life remains a mystery to us. We know that she married Cornwallis Maud, the fourth Viscount Howarden, in 1845, and lived in London until 1857, when she moved with her husband to the family estate in Dundrum County, Tipperary, Ireland. It is likely that Howarden began to experiment with photography in 1857, taking stereoscopic landscape photographs around the Dundrum estate. The family moved back to London, and Howarden began to photograph her daughters, firstly making stereoscopic prints, before moving on to large format, standalone portraits. As a woman, Howarden had to work close to home, but by creating these enigmatic images of her daughters, she staked out new parameters for art photography. With careful choice of props, clothing, mirrors, balcony, and posture, Howarden produced exquisite studies of her adolescent daughters. The figures in dress are the main subject, carefully framed in the room and often in front of the balcony. The city beyond frequently provides a blurred background. Howarden liked to use natural light in her studio at her South Kensington home in a way that was seen at the time as daring. She placed mirrors to reflect light and used them to explore the idea of the double just as other photographers, and occasionally Howarden herself, used a stereoscopic camera to produce twin prints. From around 1862, Howarden concentrated on photographing her daughters in costume tableau, a popular subject at the time. Costumes from the dressing up box are combined with dresses at the height of fashion to produce beautiful detailed studies that confound the contemporary with the make-believe. Warden exhibited her work with the Photographer's Society in London from 1863 to 64 under the titles Studies from Life and Photographic Studies and was awarded the Society's Silver Medal in both years. Tragically, she was never to collect her medals. She died at Five Princes Gardens in South Kensington on January 19, 1865 after suffering from pneumonia for a week. Yet Lady Howarden left behind a legacy of beautiful and evocative images that we are pleased to have in our gallery. The flexibility of our virtual space has enabled us to adapt our decor to reflect the show's Victorian theme, and we have been privileged to welcome an international audience here. The show is archived on our website, ceruleangallery.org, and also in our Flickr gallery. Thank you for visiting and for your interest in our exhibit, and we hope to see you soon. Come back anytime. We'll see you in the world.